And uh, I don't think we should look at the tragic. We should look at the joy of his life. <laughs> As the moment we met. <laughs> <laughs> Peter and I both had very hairy legs. <laughs> and every Sunday we used to come together and wax off all the hair on both our legs. And that was the moment we really connected. But sometimes after I had waxed my thighs and legs, I used to take the hair and put it on his head because he was bold. <laughs> Due to the medication in this last period of his life. So. But also, there was a lot of interesting moment with Peter. Like the time when he first applied for a job. <laughs> As a Chinese healer. <laughs> Healer in China. And I know Peter believed to the last moment of his life he was going to be able to heal himself with this technique. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did not pan out that way. But his memory lives on in all of us. And Amanda, yes, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Now a widow, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> I know that you and Peter, you had a dream together that unfortunately never became true. <laughs> but that dream is going to live on in the memory of all of us. And that dream was... <laughs> <laughs> A word which I don't know how to translate the cats. <laughs> Where to brew brew cats <laughs> in the United States. And brew them, have them on a bottle, and sell them as cat juice. <laughs> 